Maritime Made on Eastlink TV is presented in partnership with Nova Scotia Business Inc. NovaScotiaBusiness.com. Just east of the village of River John, Nova Scotia, Dave and Susie Belt are farming lavender. Seafoam Lavender Farm is a family owned and operated agricultural business who make lavender products directly from their farm. Products for aromatherapy, culinary products, skin care, and household products are all made here on the farm. But it all starts with the plants. Lavender is a member of the mint family. Hundreds of varieties of lavender are grown around the world. With over 3,000 lavender plants on the farm, growing the plants is where all their products begin. The plants are started from seed. Then they are moved to four inch pots to grow further. And then out into the garden where it takes three years until the plants are in full production. When it is time to harvest, only the flower tips and buds are gathered for culinary purposes. The rest of the plant contains substances called terpenes, which taste bitter and have a medicinal smell. The flowers and buds contain virtually no unpleasant terpenes. Today, they're making lavender jelly. To make lavender jelly, the harvested lavender flower tips are placed in a stainless steel pot. Hundreds of flowers are used in each batch. The flowers are covered with distilled water, just enough water to reach the top of the flowers. Next, the flowers are simmered for about 20 minutes on the stovetop. Then cooled. Then the beautiful lavender infused flower water is ready. This is the essential ingredient for making lavender jelly. To make the lavender jelly, the flower water, lemon, and pectin are added to the pot, mixed together, and then boiled for about one minute. Then sugar is added. The jelly is boiled and stirred a little longer, then removed from the heat. After a quick skimming of the top of the jelly, it is ready to be poured into jars. The lids are tightened on while it's still hot and placed upside down to ensure a good seal. They sit upside down for two minutes. Then they are ready to cool right side up. Labels are added and the jelly is ready to sell. This batch started with hundreds and hundreds of flowers and finished with 14 jars of delicious jelly. Lavender jelly tastes a bit like grape jelly and can be enjoyed many ways, but it's a farm family favorite on bagels with cream cheese. Seafoam Lavender Farm's most popular product is their marble lavender soap. The first step in soap making is to prepare the mold. The seams are lined with petroleum jelly to prevent leaking. Next, mylar liners are placed in the mold. Now, placing a pot on the scale, the soap maker measures vegetable oils into the pot. This soap is made with Canadian canola oil, olive oil, and coconut oil. Next, a vegetable fatty acid is poured into the pot. This helps make the soap harder. The pot is now placed on the stovetop to warm, stirring periodically and checking the temperature. The desired temperature for this mixture is between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. This oil mixture is then mixed with the lye solution, which has also reached a temperature of 100 degrees. Soap making requires careful temperature monitoring as the chemical reaction of making soap creates a lot of heat. The lye solution is poured into the oil mixture 
and mixed with a blender. When they start to mix together, the process of saponification, or making soap, begins. The mixture begins to take on a custard-like look. With further blending, the soap starts to thicken. The soap maker is working until she sees trace lines or indentations in the soap. Because this is a marble soap, the soap maker weighs out half the soap. She prepares the colorant that will be added to this half. Lavender essential oils are poured in and the colorant is mixed in. This is a natural colorant called ultramarine. It is measured and mixed with oil. In the other half of the soap, lavender essential oils are added. Then titanium dioxide, a natural mineral whitening agent, is added. The mixture is carefully blended together. Now it's time to quickly get the soap in the mold before it hardens too much. Three strips of purple soap are poured into the mold. Then three strips of white soap are poured. The soap makers alternate colors, tapping the mold to release any bubbles along the way. Once filled, the mold will make 18 pounds of soap, or 70 bars. Using chopsticks, the soap maker swirls the different colored soaps together. Then, some of each color is drizzled on top. Now the soap must set in the mold for 24 hours for the chemical reaction of soap making to be complete. Now the soap has been set. The mold is removed piece by piece. Finally, the soap is ready to be cut into logs. A custom-made soap cutting tool called a log splitter is tightened or tuned. The soap is placed on the tool and pushed through the cutting strings. The next step is cutting the soap into bars on the cutter. The log of soap is placed on the cutter and the strings are pressed into the soap. This cuts 12 bars at a time. These bars of soap now need to cure for 30 days. This batch of marble lavender soap is ready. The soap is packaged and ready for sale. Seafoam Lavender Farms uses only natural ingredients in all products. Never any synthetic ingredients, dyes, or perfumes of any kind. Seafoam Lavender products are available in select boutiques throughout Canada and online.